Hey guys! Today I have a stack of art books that I have been waiting to share with you and I actually have two new ones that just came in the mail that we're going to open up. I cannot wait to share with you what is inside these pages. I collect art books um, fairly frequently and yeah, these are books I've collected from Kickstarters that I've backed as well as a few that have been sent to me. So first, we're going to open this box. I came all the way from France. Oh my gosh, this is amazing. This first book is by Karl Kapinski. It's a 296-page book of sketches and there also are a few images in the back that are full color. I love Carl's figures. There's just so many interesting faces just in this one book. If you're not familiar with Carl, he is a Wizards of the Coast artist. He's worked with Ubisoft, Games Workshop, and more. You can get this classic edition, open edition art book on the Cret Editions website. There is also a limited edition book if you're interested in getting a custom cover from the artist. This next book is put up by Jasper Ising and I'm super excited to look at it. It is, I think, about 400 pages and kind of ridiculous in size. This book is also put out by Cret Editions and if you're not familiar with Jasper, he does work for Magic the Gathering, as well as a uh, D&D. He's worked on uh, with Blizzards, League of Legends, and a lot of other companies. So you've probably seen his work around, and I absolutely love it. For those of you who don't know, I used to play World of Warcraft for quite a long time, and so looking at art like this. While you don't really see it in my finished work, I do very much enjoy looking at it. This is an incredible art book. It's packed full of art. Goodness. I really like the, the texture papered in here. Um, often I see a lot of gloss pages in art books, and this is like a, a semi-gloss. It's not, it's not too shiny, which I like. There's a lot of interior illustrations, card illustrations. So much work in here. Work for Hearthstone. More Magic the Gathering. It's hard to see, but there's information written here at the bottom. If you're interested in character design, this is definitely a book that you should pick up. Both of these art books have a classic edition, which are these open edition books as well as a limited edition blank cover that are customized by the artist. Those are limited to 100. I want to thank Correct Editions for sending me these two awesome books. They contacted me wondering if I'd like to review them for free, and I said yes because I'm familiar with both of the artists. If you are interested in buying either of these, you can find a link in the description to their website where you can order them, and I think you'll like them. Next, I have three books that I've backed on Kickstarter, and I am looking forward to sharing these with you. These are artists that I have followed for a very long time, and yeah, wanted to support their work as well as get an awesome art book in the end. So even though the Kickstarters are done, I'm fairly certain that you can still get these books. I will include links in the descriptions to these books if you can get them elsewhere. So first is Cozy Days. Cozy Days is an art book that I have been looking forward to getting. It's the art of Iravel, the artist, um, that is primarily known for a lot of uh, just beautiful watercolor. I love her little sketches of trees and towns and little animals. 
and it was really fun getting this art book and yeah, getting to enjoy it. I like how she's included a little bit of the process and the behind the scenes of her work in here. The characters that she does um, are just really, really pleasing and uh, wonderfully simple, yet complex. This book is kind of a, a half, half art book, half tutorial sort of book. Um, it has a couple sections on how she creates her watercolors if you're interested and maybe even just making like a sketchbook, things like that, as well as the artist's work in here too. I love that she has included some of her sketchbooks as well, which is a really fun treat. So that is that. The next book is by Corey Godby. It is Visions of Wentz and I've been collecting Corey's smaller sketchbooks over the years and it's really fun to see everything in one place. Corey's work is fantastical and whimsical and yeah, I just, I really enjoy the world that he's building. Again, if you like my work, I think you will enjoy Corey's as well. Corey's got a lot of sketches in here that you may have seen before as well as a lot that you may not have. There's little uh, doodles and notes as far as the, maybe the, the sketch um, before he took it to finish. I really enjoy seeing that in art books where you can kind of have a look behind the scenes at what the artist was thinking before they finished the piece. Overall, yeah, this is just a wonderful, wonderful art book. Last but not least, I have Pastorelle by Ja Cooper. And this book is the, I guess the fourth book that I have from her. I picked up a her three-part book set last year on Kickstarter, and this is the second Kickstarter that I've backed of hers. This book is mostly, I think the theme is just farm animals, which sounds a little bit silly, but it's it's absolutely wonderful. I, I love Jack Cooper's work, and if you like her work already and you enjoy what she does, you will definitely enjoy this book. She has a lot of planar sketches in here, just little critters and creatures. Jaw Cooper's use of line work is incredible, and you can see that pretty easily in this book. So I hope you enjoyed this look into a couple of art books that I am finding inspiration from, and you'll find some inspiration too. I look forward to seeing you in my next video, and yeah, don't forget to like, hit the like button and do subscribe. Thank you. I'll see you later. Bye.